Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Our lecture is stochastic processes. This course needs a prerequisite of a probability as a full one semester course. So, most of the universities they have a course probability theory along with the stochastic processes or random process or probability and statistics. So, whatever the courses we have at least some 30 lectures of probability theory is needed for this uh, stochastic process course as a prerequisite. Other than probability course, we need a basic course in um, calculus and uh, some mathematical background over the combinatorial uh, problems and also the matrix algebra. So, these courses would have been covered in the max 1 or mathematics 2 courses. So, that is enough for uh, to uh, understand the stochastic process course. So, what we are saying is uh, we need a prerequisite as the probability theory as well as uh, the max mathematics 1 and mathematics 2 course is enough to do the or to understand the stochastic process course. So, before we move into the stochastic process, I am going to give what is the motivation behind the stochastic process. When we see the last few decades uh, problems, more of the probability models are uh, not the deterministic. That means, uh, you need uh, more probability theory to understand the stochastic, to understand the system, then, then only you can study the dynamics of the model. If you see the, if you want to study the dynamics of the system, then you need a more probability theory. So, the simple probability theory may not be enough to study the more, uh, more study on the realistic system the way this realistic system behaves in a very dynamical way, it is not easy to capture everything through the probabilistic or usual probability models. That means, uh, you need uh, more than the probability model pro probability theory to understand the system or to study the system in a well behaved way. For that, uh, the one of the important thing is a uh, stochastic process. It deals about the collection of a random variable so that you can study the dynamics of the system in a better way. Even though I, I am giving very light way of saying the collection of a random variable, first we should know how the random variable can be defined, so that you can study the collection of random variable in a better way. So, for that we are going to spend a few examples through that how the more realistic models needs more probability theory other than the usual probability theory, so that uh, the stochastic process uh, definition and those things I am going to cover it later part. First, let us see the first example that comes in the finance situation. This is the actual uh, uh, data which captured uh, over the period of time from August uh, 1, 2009 to December 31st, 2009 of uh, what is the current price of the 1 US dollars in Indian rupees. So, if you see the graph, you can make out August 1st 2009, the price of 1 US dollar was 47 rupees 57 or 58 paise. And if you see the dynamics over the years, over the days from August 1st 2009 to till uh, December 31st 2009, it uh, keep on changing and uh, it, it takes uh, some values uh, higher and after that uh, it uh, goes down and it fluctuates and so on. So, this is the actual uh, data which captured from the, uh, which we have captured. And from that our interest will be what could be the US dollar price after some time. If I know till today what is the price my interest will be what could be the price after 1 or 2 days or after 1 month or after 6 months. 
that means uh, I should know how the dynamics uh, keep moving over the days and uh, what is the hidden probabilistic distribution is uh, capturing over the time. So, that I can identify what is the distribution behind that therefore, I can study the future prediction I can study the dynamics of the this particular model in a much better way. That means, uh, I need uh, what is the background or what is the hidden distribution playing or hidden distribution which causes the dynamics of the system. After identifying what is the distribution, my interest could be what could be the some other moment over the time. That means, uh, what, what could be the average value or what could be the second order moment if it exists and so on that can be obtained if I know the actual distribution the under the in the underlying model. If I see the second example, I am just changing into the another model in which there are two people playing a game the person A and the person B. Whenever the person A wins he gets the rupees 1. Suppose uh, the person B wins then he will get the 1 rupee and at the same time the person A loses 1 rupee the same way and the play is keep going. Suppose you make the random variable as a x n is the amount of the person A have at the end of nth game. If you make out uh, the random variable x n for the person A has the amount at the end of the nth game, then at the you, you, the way the game going on the, the value of the x n will be keep changing. And if you make out the another random variable x n is the sum of x i's where i is running from 1 to n, this gives what is the total amount the total amount of the person A. The diagram in which the, the S n gives what is the way the dynamics goes and over the n. And if you see the diagram you can make out the whole dynamics goes the how the game is going on in the first few games accordingly it changes the positive side or it goes to the negative side. And if the n is goes large then the dynamics of the s n over the n it will be keep changing over the time and uh, you will get the realization, realization of the s n over the time. And here I have given three different uh, realization and uh, this diagram is uh, taken out uh, from the book by U N Burt the title of the book is elements of applied stochastic process. So, this is the one of the motivations behind the stochastic process and from this our interest will be after the what is the distribution of uh, S n at any n and also as n tends to infinity what could be the distribution of S n. That means, you need uh, you need the distribution of the random variable and also you need uh, what, what could be the distribution as n tends to infinity or the limiting distribution of S n. If you know the distribution then you can get all other movements as for different n as well as uh, the asymptotic behavior of uh, the random variable S n. Next I will move into the another example in which it is a queuing situation. The queuing situation here I have taken it as a taken a simple example that is a barber shop example in which there is a only one barber person and who does the who does the service for the people who are entering into the barber shop and there are only a limiting capacity in which there is a maximum 10 people can stay in the barber shop and one person will be under service once the service is over and the system will be <coughs> the, the customer can leave the system at any time maximum 10 people can be in the barber shop and only one person is uh, doing the 
uh, service for the customers who ever enter into the barber shop. Suppose you take the random variable as a x t is the number of customers in the barber shop or in the system at time t. The way the dynamics goes, the possible values of x t will be starting from 0 to n. To study this system, you need uh, what is the way the, the people or the customers are entering into the system and what is the way the service is going on for the customers and what is the discipline in which the customers are getting served also. Our interest will be suppose we have the capacity of 10, what could be the waiting time whenever the customers are entering into the system. My interest will be one is how to reduce the waiting time on average. In the customers, this is the customers point of view. As the barber shop uh, point of view, how much I can uh, get the more uh, revenue. That means, uh, how I can increase the capacity, capacity of the system, so that uh, I can make a more profit over the time. That means, uh, if I know the dynamics of the x t over the t, for t is varying from o 0 to infinity, I can I can understand the system over the time as well as I can uh, whatever the probabilistic measures or whatever the other measures average number of customers or average waiting time and so on, I can find out using uh, this type of random variable. So, later we are going to say this is going to be a one of the stochastic process for this example. Next I am going to consider the fourth example as the telecommunication system. Suppose you think of a system in which you have a n trunks are there. Trunks are nothing but it is a maximum number of a calls will be allowed at any time. Whenever a call entering into the system and you have given one trunk to the call and at the end of the call is over the trunk will be back. So, you have a telecommunication system in which n trunks are available at any time not at any time n trunks are available. Suppose, I make a random variable x t as the number of calls ongoing at time t. See, here also the dynamics of a x t is going to be keep changing from 0 to small n over the time and my interest will be how I can how I can do the service such a way that uh, the more calls will be entertained as well as how I can find out the optimal n such a way that what is the optimal, optimal number of trunks such that I can minimize the waiting time or I can maximize the revenue. So, this is also one of the problems which we come across in the uh, daily life and so on. So, my interest is to introduce a stochastic process, so that I can study this type of uh, system in a better way.